Chibro here for Umber Games with a review of Broforce, played on PlayStation 4 for the review, also available on PC. Broforce was developed by Free Lives and published by Devolver Studios, and currently only available via digital download. It was even free for PlayStation Plus members back in March of 2016. Broforce is a 2D platforming shooter where you control an army of bros to liberate the world in the name of the United States in a very satirical manner. Your playable characters in the bro army include an extensive array of action heroes from movies and video games with their names changed in an attempt to broize them. We have well punned ones like Bronan the Barbarian, Double Bro 7, Brobocop, Indiana Brones, and some that are a bit more of a stretch like Neo from the Matrix being Mr. Ambrosen and Ripley from Aliens being Ellen Ripbro. But the number of characters that can be unlocked is very entertaining. Your moves are fairly basic, with X being jump and square or R2 firing your primary weapon unique to each character. Everyone also has a limited number of special moves that can be activated as well by pressing circle. Again, pretty true to their character. Characters can climb walls, which often becomes a necessity as pretty much all of the game's environment is destructible, and just like an action movie, there are explosives and explosions everywhere, constantly destroying everything around you. There are timed explosive crates, instant explosion boxes, and of course the gas tanks that fly through the air in a direction until they explode. When playing in multiplayer, you can also press the triangle button to perform a high five, which will slow down time. The core campaign of Broforce can be played in multiplayer both local and online. There are 15 areas of the campaign made up of several levels each. Where you begin the game fighting against terrorists, you'll eventually be warding off a xenomorph invasion, and of course the game has to culminate in a fight against demons from hell and Satan himself. Levels are fairly short affairs, and you gain extra lives by rescuing bros from cages. When you open the cage and rescue the prisoner, you have no options but to switch to whatever character you have unlocked and it randomly makes you. In multiplayer, if someone dies and you open a cage, they will be returned to the game at that point. There are also American flag checkpoints that will respawn players assuming they have some lives in stock. When all lives are lost, generally speaking, you'll return at the beginning of the level, although many stages, especially later in the game, will have a midpoint flag that give you no indication that it functions as such. All in all, the game took White Gravy and I about 5-6 to six hours to complete. As you can see, the game goes for a pretty straight up 8-bit pixely look, but somehow the number of explosions that can take place on screen at a time causes some pretty severe frame rate dips. I think we had a bit of a multiplication effect on this since we were playing the game online. I'd often see his character skip around and look like he'd die on my screen as he walked through some alien acid but be okay. Sometimes we'd even get separated into different games somehow and one of us would end up locked up. You know, those kinds of things. Your characters often move pretty quickly, which for the most part is a good thing in this kind of game, but descending ladders shouldn't be as commonly fatal as it seems to be. There are a couple levels too where if you're not careful you can easily destroy the environment needed in order to make it to the finishing helicopter or zipline, and with several of your playable characters having explosive weapons and your inability to choose a character, on top of several enemies also having explosive capabilities, can leave you in an unfinishable level. Broforce is definitely good for a few laughs, its cast of characters is entertaining, and the drop in and out co-op is convenient, but if this game just had slightly better, more controllable gameplay and wasn't plagued with frame rate and network issues, it'd definitely be a little more of a keeper. It is pretty shallow, but what you see is what you get. Rated as a 2D side-scrolling shooter, Broforce hits a 41 out of 100 on my true 1 to 100 scale, with 50 being an average game. This is Gbro for Umbro Games. Thanks for watching. Be a bro and subscribe for notifications of new Vidibros, or follow me on Twitter at Umbro Games. Uh, Umbro Games. <laughs>